I am so tired of cozy farm sim games. Cozy farm sim games have been released left and right in especially 2023, like it was an effing STD. Maybe I should have used a different word. And if I'm being fully honest, many of them are the same game, just different art styles. But then yet again, if you actually manage to stand out and feel just a little bit different, like Polya and Moonstone Island and Fay Farm. And what really caught my attention is Lightyear Frontier. And that's coming from a person who does not enjoy sci-fi and mech-like games. So, what is Lightyear Frontier? We are hillbilly space farmers in ginormous customizable mechs sent out into space to find planets for Earth to re-inhabit as we, of course, as predicted, ended our own Mother Earth. And to ensure we don't go completely effing bonkers wandering and exploring this planet alone, we have the equivalent of a southern grandma stuffing you with love and cookies named PIP3R or Piper. They're orbiting the planet itself and teach us the basics of how to well, play the game, but also how we cleanse areas that are toxic in the planet's ecosystem and teach us about the civilization inhabiting the planets before we arrived, which was not part of the original mission. And of course, we also spend time petting these super cute animals on the planet. Everything from birds and rodents to salamander-like creatures. All right, basics covered. What is the difference between this game and other cozy farm sim games? Disclaimer, I am not saying the games I'm about to mention are bad. I'm just saying they didn't give me the feel of, you know, spice of it being different between all the other cozy farm sim games. If we look at Wildeflowers, Kitaria Fables, Sunhaven and Everdream Valley, they all have a little thing that is like their own, like magic or being animals or having third person view, but that's really it. It feels like the same game to me. It's the same rules of farming, the same typical tools you use. All the games are designed with a more feminine and cutesy feel and nothing is really innovative. Innovative? Innovative? Nothing is super new. And I know I'm gonna get heat for this one, but even as gorgeous and dreamy as the characters are in this game that I would also fall in love with, Coral Island is still giving me a feeling of it being a plant. Both very literally in the graphical design as it, I think it really lacks colors. And the really only big thing I see is the underwater cleaning system, except for, of course, the big part of the game being romance. That might just be me though. Let me know if you disagree. I am all up for healthy discussions. Not only is Lightyear Frontier jaw-dropping gorgeous, as per proof of my face here the second I started exploring the planet and its animals, it also got this very unique twist for you to use your mech for literally everything. The farming itself doesn't feel as basic as mentioned in previous games, as you don't use like a simple hole, aka your mom, to plow perfectly squared fields for your crops. You can actually upgrade your mech from explorer to farming mode, becoming an actual tractor to plow your fields in exactly the shapes you like, and to create pathways to decorate your farm and island, or not the island, the planet which here switching between first and third person view becomes seriously handy. My skills in path making and plowing in first person view does not work. I haven't gotten this far yet, but I also suspect we will be able to become or transform into a boat. As you explore the planet, you will realize there are islands, not within jumping distance. I tried, which by the way made me laugh more than once as my jumping skills in the mech are super horrible so i tilted over more than once and then the mech's just wobbling all over the place and it's just yeah it's 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 really good i don't think of it it would actually be really cool if we also got the option to turn into some kind of glider i'm sure it's necessary in this game but it would still be cool complete transformers vibe anywho i digress a big portion of this game is restoring parts of it back to health from it being intoxicated by slime and well toxic weeds and it will unlock new areas for you to well Build your farm and explore. And it will unlock the ability to communicate with other farmers on other planets sent out on the exact same mission as you. That's how I met Ulf, a super cute farmer on the red planet in the sky with his one bean sprout of a hair and I love him. Aside from talking to Ulf saving your sanity, you can use your newfound communication system 
to complete quests for them and potentially other farmers in the future and then earn mega stones you can then use in Lola's shop to then upgrade your or not upgrade per se but change your mech's customization or its, its exterior look and buy customizations and upgrades and seeds and whatever you might need for your farm and that's important to earn stones from because I'm just gonna say mech parts are not cheap and not to forget as you explore and cleanse like parts of the planet you will find ruins which earlier on Piper told you were from an old unknown civilization and just to ignore because it, it was way gone past due its time but when you complete cleansing areas you will realize there's this very special ruins door you find that will somehow restore energy every single time opening up potential knowledge of this civilization through both that and these small mineral ruins thingies you can analyze in each cleansed area which i by the way believe is connected to this ginormous door you find early on and i am so curious to see what is locked away in secret behind it one of the things that are a big thumbs up and i really like about this game is how it is merging cozy farm sim games feels with base building survival just like slime ranger did which is also a game series i adore they share the same system like any other farm game of finding resources to make new equipment but they somehow take it to the next level both in having first person view mode but also you need to craft items and craft items again sometimes and then go look for new items to actually craft the tool or the mechanic part you actually want so it's a bit deeper than the simple classic farm sim ones one thing Lime your frontier does not have that slime rancher do have which i did have to google to be sure is there are no combat system which makes light your frontier so extremely relaxing and calming to play it doesn't equal to you not having to protect your farm though on random mornings after piper's mental health feels like a warm hug a good morning greeting seeds of the toxic weed or bubbles of the slime will start falling from the sky where you typically have a minute to exterminate them all before they reach the ground to avoid them you know killing your crops plus you get something special from it or like some kind of chemical which I don't know how to or what to use for it yet totally not a necessary thing to add to the game but it's a fun little gimmick and speaking of gimmicks, a creme de la creme decision they made for Lightyear Frontier, making it stick out in the ocean of cozy games on our Steam and Nintendo Switch accounts, is supporting online multiplayer. Which I unfortunately haven't been able to test, but hopefully soon will, as I have a feeling it's going to be of course interesting, but also slightly chaotic, which is right up my alley. As much as Lightyear Frontier caught me, there are a few things I would like to point out I felt were a bit meh. As much as I like the mech and its uniqueness, its clunkiness is a bit annoying at times. It could totally be just a matter of my skills, but it has to be said, or I want to say it at least. As well as I haven't encountered like the classic farm animals feature where you have a barn, you have some animals and you can take care of them daily. But that might just be a simple thing as me not being that far enough in the game or not having realized how I can hurt the animals already roaming the different areas into a more easy and accessible, you know, classic farming situation. Aside from that, if you like me, we're looking for a new cozy game with farming features, but with a twist for exploration, base building, and a slight survival game feel, which got a different feel than this cutesy, romantic, self-assigned gaming industry stamp cozy farm sim games have gotten that also supports multiplayer, I would consider Lightyear Frontier for you. Now, don't be a stranger. If you have experience with Lightyear Frontier or got curious of the game, or maybe you can even answer some of the unanswered questions I got in the video, you know where to share them. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time.